even though it looks like a comet once you reduce the brightness of the comet if you definitely zoom in there is a possibility of seeing a bit of a structure there 3i Atlas has displayed a variety of atypical traits from its bizarre trajectory through our solar system to its complex jet structure. But now, Harvard scientist Avi Loeb has discovered the most astonishing anomaly yet, a sun-facing anti-tail that defies all expectations, composed not of typical cometary debris, but potentially a swarm of alien objects. This finding takes us further into the unknown, challenging everything we thought we knew about comets, their behaviors, and what might lie beyond our solar system. Discovered in July 2025 by the Atlas Survey, 3i Atlas quickly captured the attention of astronomers. As an interstellar object, the third of its kind to be identified, it was already an outlier. Unlike comets that originate from the Oort cloud or Kuiper belt, 3i Atlas traveled into our solar system from the vast reaches of interstellar space. Its passage through the solar system has been anything but ordinary, with scientists eagerly tracking its trajectory, behavior, and physical characteristics. What began as a promising object of study soon turned into a series of discoveries that made 3i Atlas a subject of intense scrutiny and speculation. One of the first surprises came in the form of its tail. Comets are known for having tails made up of gas, dust, and debris that are pushed away from the sun by solar radiation pressure. This is a well-understood phenomenon that can be observed in countless comets passing through our system. But 3i Atlas broke this mold. Instead of a conventional tail pointing away from the sun, it displayed an odd and unexpected feature, a glowing anti-tail that pointed directly toward the sun. This anti-tail wasn't a simple optical illusion caused by viewing angle, it was a real, physical physical phenomenon that challenged conventional cometary physics. For years, astronomers have debated the exact cause of this anti-tail, and Loeb's recent theory offers a provocative new interpretation. Loeb suggests that this sunward extension might not be caused by gas or dust streaming away from the comet, as previously assumed. Instead, he proposes that it could be the result of a swarm of small objects, fragments or bodies, that are accompanying 3i Atlas. These objects, Loeb hypothesizes, are not subject to the same force forces that are acting on the comet's nucleus, particularly the non-gravitational acceleration caused by outgassing. Uh, one of the shortfalls of this uh, particular press uh, conference was that no scientists that analyzed the NASA data were included. It was officials from NASA. And moreover, what the, the message the officials conveyed was that it's a boring object. It's an object uh, similar to the comets we're familiar with, except it came from a different environment. Uh, that is not the case with 3i Atlas. In fact, it has 12 anomalies that were not even discussed during the press conference. For example, its size, it's a million times more massive than the first interstellar object. This is the third one, and it's a million times more massive than the first one. Uh, there is not enough rocky material in interstellar space to accommodate the delivery of such a big package over the past decade that we monitored the sky. And it lies in the plane of the planets around the sun. That's amazing that, you know, the chance of that is one in 500. That's only the second anomaly. If you combine these two anomalies, the big mass of the object and the uh, trajectory that it has, it's already a chance of one in 100,000. And it raises the question of whether this trajectory was designed by some intelligence. And I just did a calculation this morning, you are the first one to hear that, that the object will come closest to Jupiter on March 16th, uh, 2026, and it will arrive exactly at the right distance to Jupiter you know, to within a small fraction of a percent, exactly the right distance, where the gravity of the sun will not be able to tear apart any probe that it releases uh, near Jupiter. So it arrives just at the right distance so that Jupiter's gravity will overcome the sun's tidal gravity and the, anything it releases there will stay there, which suggests why did it arrive exactly at the distance? In order perhaps to release some probes near that, near that planet. So there are lots of questions. Uh, it also shed the nickel with very little iron, lots of anomalies, and NASA did not discuss them. Uh, instead of what they did, which is to say, you know, we pretty much 
uh, know that it's an object of the type that we have seen before. They should have emphasized the mysteries or they should not have held the press conference because they didn't have much new information there. Over time, these objects, lagging behind the comet's main body, could have been pulled slightly closer to the sun, resulting in the observed anti-tail. This idea hinges on the assumption that the small bodies surrounding 3I Atlas are not responding in the same way to solar radiation as the comet's nucleus. These bodies, whether fragments or debris, would not experience the same acceleration, and as a result, they would remain slightly slightly displaced from the nucleus. As they gradually fall closer to the sun, their collective influence would create a visible sunward glow, which we perceive as an anti-tail. Loeb's hypothesis is based on the mass and surface area of these potential objects. While the individual objects making up the swarm would likely have a relatively low mass, their total surface area could be vast enough to reflect a significant amount of sunlight. This could explain the observed brightness of the sunward anti-tail. The swarm of objects, according to Loeb, could be a low mass collection, but the total reflected sunlight would produce a remarkably bright feature, visible even from Earth based telescopes. The idea of a swarm of objects orbiting with 3 I Atlas raises fascinating questions about the nature of this interstellar visitor. If Loeb's theory is correct, it would suggest that 3 I Atlas is not a solitary comet as initially believed, but rather a more complex object or system. Such a discovery would radically shift our understanding of comets, their behavior, and the potential for similar systems in the universe. Could it be that 3 I Atlas? is part of a miniature interstellar system with its own set of fragments or companion objects? Or is it possible that the anti-tail of 3I Atlas represents something entirely different, perhaps even artificial? The anti-tail of 3I Atlas is just one piece of a larger puzzle, with other anomalies surrounding the object adding further complexity to the mystery. From its strange trajectory to its unusual chemical composition, 3I Atlas has continued to challenge scientists' expectations. One of the most puzzling aspects of 3I Atlas is its non-gravitational acceleration. Unlike most comets, which follow a predictable path determined by gravity, 3I Atlas has exhibited extra acceleration beyond what can be explained by solar gravity alone. This acceleration is thought to be caused by outgassing from the comet, but the magnitude of the force is more than what would be expected from a typical comet. The object's acceleration is in the order of 0.0002 times the force of gravity, which is significant enough to influence its trajectory. This non-gravitational acceleration, combined with its trajectory through the solar system, has led some scientists to suggest that the comet's motion is too precise to be purely natural. It is as if the object is on a path that has been carefully calibrated, adding to the intrigue surrounding its origins. Another anomaly concerns the composition of 3I Atlas. Spectroscopic analysis has revealed that its coma is unusually rich in carbon dioxide, CO2, a volatile compound that is rarely seen in comets. The high concentration of CO2 is especially strange given the distance from the Sun at which 3I Atlas was observed. Most comets that approach the Sun from the distant reaches of the solar system typically exhibit a mixture of water ice and other volatiles, such as methane or ammonia. However, the presence of CO2 in such high quantities suggests that 3I Atlas may have originated from a different region of space, or that it has experienced a unique set of conditions that altered its chemical composition. The existence of CO2 at such a far distance from the Sun could be an indication of the comet's origin in a colder, more distant part of the cosmos, perhaps even from another star system, where different volatile compounds dominate. Some scientists speculate that this unusual chemical signature could point to a different formation environment than that of typical solar system comets, which are usually found to exhibit a predominance of water ice. If CO2 is indeed prevalent in the coma, this suggests a unique evolutionary history, potentially hinting that the object has undergone significant transformation or that it formed under extreme conditions. The composition of 3I Atlas raises numerous questions about its origins, and the answers could provide new insights into the types of materials present in other regions of space beyond our solar system. In addition to its chemical composition, 3I Atlas has exhibited a complex jet structure further deviating from the norm for typical comets. Unlike other comets, which typically show relatively symmetric jets of gas and dust, often resulting in a diffuse tail, the jets of 3I Atlas appear to be highly directional and stable. Most comets rotate at a constant rate, causing their outgassing jets to diffuse and scatter which creates a more irregular, smeared appearance. However, 3I Atlas's jets remain surprisingly focused and structured despite the rotation of the object. This stability in the jet structure is notable because it indicates that the object may not be 
behaving like a typical comet. Scientists have noted that outgassing should typically cause the jets to become smeared as the comet rotates, but 3I Atlas shows no sign of this smearing. Instead, the jets maintain their coherence and directivity, which suggests that there may be additional forces or mechanisms at play. This could point to an unusual outgassing process or perhaps an internal structure that allows the object to maintain the integrity of its jets. It may also imply that the comet's composition or internal dynamics are different from what we see in other comets. The exact nature of the stability remains unexplained, but it is yet another piece of the puzzle that sets 3I Atlas apart from its celestial counterparts. The object's trajectory is also highly unusual, adding to the growing list of anomalies. The fine-tuning of 3I Atlas's orbit has led some scientists to suggest that the object's movement through the solar system might be influenced by more than just gravity. While most comets follow relatively predictable elliptical orbits influenced by gravitational forces, 3I Atlas's trajectory appears unusually precise. Its path through the solar system has been described as almost too perfect, suggesting that its motion might be more controlled than the typical chaotic orbits we see in most comets. Some scientists have even proposed that the object's trajectory could be the result of some external force, or that it has undergone a series of adjustments that have guided it along its current path. These adjustments might indicate that 3I Atlas is not just a natural comet, but something more complex. The precision of its orbit, combined with its anomalous acceleration and other features, has led to speculation that the comet could be part of a larger, more complex system, or even an artificial object. While the possibility of an artificial origin is still highly speculative, the object's trajectory raises legitimate questions about the forces at play. Some have even suggested that the object might be part of a spacecraft or probe, though no direct evidence has been found to support this claim. Regardless of the interpretation, 3I Atlas's trajectory challenges our expectations for interstellar objects, and its highly controlled path suggests there may be much more to learn about this enigmatic visitor. Another anomaly discovered in 3I Atlas concerns the polarimetric signature of the object. Polarimetric measurements of the object's light have shown deep and narrow negative polarization, a feature that has never been observed in either comets or asteroids within our solar system. Typically, comets and asteroids exhibit a specific range of polarization that corresponds to the scattering of light by their surface or coma. However, 3I Atlas has displayed a polarimetric signature that does not match what we would expect from typical solar system bodies. This negative polarization suggests that 3I Atlas may have a surface or internal structure that behaves differently from objects we have encountered before. The nature of this anomaly is still under investigation, but it points to the possibility that 3I Atlas is not only chemically distinct, but also physically unique compared to other interstellar objects or comets. This anomaly raises the intriguing question of whether 3I Atlas could belong to a different class of objects entirely, one that requires new models of light scattering and surface interaction. Finally, the most recent and most widely debated anomaly of 3I Atlas is the presence of non-gravitational acceleration. This phenomenon was initially observed when the object showed signs of acceleration that couldn't be attributed solely to gravity. Most comets experience a small amount of acceleration due to outgassing, where the sublimation of volatile materials like water and CO2 from the comet's surface generates thrust. However, 3I Atlas's acceleration appears much stronger than what would be expected from a typical comet, especially considering its size. The object's acceleration has been quantified as being about 0.0002 times the force of gravity, which is far larger than what would be predicted by standard cometary models. In light of these anomalies, it becomes clear that 3I Atlas is not just an ordinary comet, but a much more mysterious object. Its sunward anti-tail is only the latest in a series of discoveries that have confounded scientists. Each anomaly adds a new layer to the puzzle, forcing us to reconsider what we know about interstellar objects and their behaviors. Whether 3I Atlas is a natural object that has experienced an unusual series of events, or whether it is something entirely different, perhaps a fragment from an alien civilization, is still unknown. What is clear, however, is that 3I Atlas is pushing the boundaries of our understanding, and it may hold secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. As astronomers continue to observe and study 3I Atlas, new data may provide the answers we seek. The swarm of objects hypothesis is remain speculative, but it is an exciting possibility that offers a new way of thinking about the object. Whether it is a comet, a fragment swarm, or something even more exotic, 3I Atlas will continue to be a subject of intense fascination. Its journey through our solar system may be the beginning of a deeper understanding of the universe, and as more anomalies emerge, the true nature of this interstellar visitor may one day be revealed. Professor Loeb, I have to ask quickly, is there anything in particular you still want us to do scientifically when 3I Atlas is closest to us? 
Yes, we see seven jets coming from it uh, based on the latest images from amateur astronomers. And uh, I would like to know the speed of the jets and the composition of the jets because that would tell us whether it's uh, naturally produced. These jets are produced by pockets of ice illuminated by sunlight or if the speed of the gas in them is much greater, it would imply a technological thruster associated generating each of these jets. Every time we speak, it provides so much scope for the imagination, and I'm so glad you're asking these questions. Professor Avi Loeb, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.